Hello, everyone. Everything's fine. Everything's going according to plan. Why do you ask? It's me, Get Daved. So last time, we decided to fortify ourselves a certain way. That's that's working for me right now. And I think we can access this dragon vein. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Never mind, it's not happening this turn no matter what. Yeah, Ryama's gonna be one out of range. But we can kill. Hope for the crit, everybody. Aboro's been in the crit zone. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the danger zone. This is important. It's a fantastic level up. Five stats, but also good ones. They aren't all good. I guess we stick with the killer lance. It's working for me so far. We can do this. He's got a zero crit. Oh, perfect. Forget everything else, as often happens in this game. There's a lot of planning for things that uh, might happen, but if they don't, you don't, uh, no need to talk about it. Sure, we'll let them have their ninja off. There's that 6% crit chance. Yeah, never mind, I chickened out. Have Jacob do the softening. Eh, it could be a kill. If it is, we celebrate. We've got this. You're gonna need stitches. I'm fine That's with it. Point. I was hoping to get Kagero some experience, but you know what? Jacob's a fine choice for that. Hopefully they'll be okay. I'm not gonna look into the enemy composition or anything like that. We're just gonna hope for the best. impressive defenses, all things considered. Also, a lot more work for the lower group, but I guess the idea was that we are going to be Corrin. Little did they know. No Alright, do all the work, Takumi. That was impressive. We got the level up I wanted. And yeah, we'll put them on there right away and see what happens, because why not? It's probably a bad idea. Like, that could be coming my way in seconds. Not bad. Yay, his magic stat. Sword Fair, which is like a Renaissance Fair. Ooh. Sounds pretty good. What is that crap? Well, I guess they'll have something to do now. We're gonna win! Here we 
Man, half the importance of attacking on your turn is just to get the matchup you want. I mean, against them, she's got good damage and takes nothing in return. It was a miracle they even hit her. And yeah, we're backing off of this for a moment. Yeah, there you can see what would happen with a bad matchup. Okay, that was actually kind of risky, but it worked out well dead. enough. They had a fairly low crit chance, but I mean, they could still bring uh, Kagero down to four hit points, which is not an insignificant risk. This is probably a miss, so I'm going for it. This is what we've trained for. For the glory of Hoshido! <laughs> Here we go! And it all worked out. Alright, we probably could have gotten away with activating that switch right away. I'm still not going to lose any sleep over what I actually did. A little reluctant to leave Azura behind as well. I think as long as we leave someone jammed in the entrance, they won't depart. We'll test that theory, though. As long as someone holds down the button. Yes. Yay! Is he being controlled or not? I don't know. Okay, she can get in, which is good. This is not an ideal formation, but it'll do. And up yonder, back at the ranch, I'm pretty okay with this. Make it symmetrical, just in case someone comes from that group again. missing. We'll, uh... Well, I don't know. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I mean, this is technically giving it tension, holding it. I don't know what's going on. If that gets destroyed, it shouldn't pull it in, but maybe that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna assume something's gonna open up over there, though. So we can come in for a flank, maybe? We'll have to play our cards right. So we can avoid a tragedy of the tragedy of what happened on the first turn. And right back. Pretty interesting stuff at this point in the map. That is one thing that they have a bit more of in this Fire Emblem game than others I've noticed, is like maps where movement is like a major thing. There we are. Everybody off. It's quite a jog. Okay, we can probably just focus in right on this first group. Okay. So we can do this. Oh, I don't know about taking 22 damage just like that. Got 
crap, the flyer killers. Okay. She's not going to be able to get her turn back. This is such a non-ideal situation. Uh, these guys are all using physical attacks, so maybe Xander can hold all of them. Can't even move him forward a little bit to broadcast that. All right. There is nothing good for me to do here. Just have to take our chances with it. Okay, probably a kill, but not very probably. Take advantage of his range three. Allow me. Hey. And he's still got his crit rate. Good. <laughs> Perfect. Defense came just in time. need every single hit point we can get. And I'm going with Sakura. She's going to be my girl. She's got the resistance stat. She's got the evade. She's got the privilege. Holding that, holding that door. Okay, people are safe. And this group can just wait. All right, let's see if it worked. We're looking at a no. Oh, thank goodness. Yay, counter magic would have been quite nice. Dodged the first one. Well, she still saved them. Because plenty of that would have been coming our way. The setup in this one really puts you at quite a disadvantage. Okay, they can wait. Okay, drop him. Takumi can support. This guy's certainly dead. I'll help you. Odds are. What? One in 2,500 that he lived? It could happen. There's a good manly grunt there. Okay, we're gonna... Hmm. This doesn't put us into kill range. So close, though. 
I'm gonna see if Camila can take out the last guy by herself. It's amazing he's doing so little damage in this matchup. Okay, we'll just have to watch crit chance. Cross your fingers, everybody. Yeah. So, I mean, we had about, what, a 60% chance of that working, and hey, it happened. My goodness. Why can't Corrin get a level up like that? Take the attacks we can get. Be gone, Brett. Hey! Yes. I'm actually not a fan of that kill. It would have been nice if it didn't happen. I see. Azura might be taking a hit I don't want her to take. We'll see. See if the enemy drops back. Nope. They should have. We knew that was coming, it's okay. Alrighty. We're running out of bodies. We've got so few hit points, I think we needed to kill the more durable one. Don't have Azura available to give him his turn again. It'd be nice to have him picking on the Kinshi Knights. Okay. If we move her there, she won't be able to enter a defensible position at all. Gotta play the waiting game, but we can have her go after the dragon vein at least. How very so that's nice. And we had just enough units. Alright, there we are. Yay! Family. Family's great. Okay, what are we looking at? A lot of firepower. I'll take Ryoma's odds against him. He's got really good avoidance. But so does Ryama. Okay, who to put at the front, though? It's all physical attacks, I think. Okay, he's gonna rush. It's kind of inconvenient that we can't get a Boro exactly where we want her to be. means Jacob's going to be holding the line in one spot. Alright, some bodies are going to hit the floor. We knew it was coming. I 
I said bodies plural. Okay, everybody else I'm hoping is okay though. There we go, we're giving as good as we get. Place your bets on how many bodies we're gonna <laughs> generate now. Again, if we were playing in a mode that had permadeath, I would be taking more defensive tactics. But, you know, I'm trying to keep the, the pace moving a bit here. It's pretty good that he could do 17 to Rinka. Yeah, of course. Oh no. Well, experience points. We will be needing her. This could be very good. I was hoping for the crit. my fault, you're weak. So we could watch a glorious 177 roll out. Yeah, I'll take it. That gets her into survival range against Sumeragi again. Two damage, just not enough. They have so much life. Thirty-two. Well, this seems wasteful. Do any of them have items? Oh, there's the Great Festival. That'd be kind of nice. We could also have Rinka do this and apply the debuff. And only three damage coming back her way. It puts her into kill range on his turn. Oh, never mind. Good news, everyone, we win. It's nice for him to meet his, uh, you know, daughter through marriage, I guess. You've grown so strong. Corn eh, didn't really do much. How could this be? Move. Uh. Nope. Well, we did use the killer lance. Uh. Whoa, good for you. Father? I'm sorry. Oh. Well, you were ambushed and got shot by like a hundred archers. No. It'd be really awkward if Silas were around right now because she doesn't remember anything about him. Yeah, she, to a fault. Oh, don't make this weird, yes. Dad. 
I see. Hmm. Whoa. That means Corrin's father is a noun coast? Did I just read that correctly? That's why. <gasps> That's why she can turn into a dragon. Well, rock and roll, everybody. We are hammering through the parents. And I'll see you all in the next episode.